All the information in this video is available for verification via the online buoy database maintained by NOAA. Buoy in event mode, south of Bali. For those who monitor the ocean, this is a familiar sight. The tail of this buoy starts with another and begins long before there was such a thing as station 53046. You will notice the primary areas of coverage from the Solomon Islands, east to the Kermadec Islands, and up around to Sumatra, all locations of powerful earthquakes in the last few years, except this central three, including 53046 in the middle. Like I said, our story begins with a different buoy, 56003 to the right. She's had a turbulent life, as you can see here. In October of 2008, they put her down, and it was barely a month before the wild readings appeared. She was immediately taken offline. During the time she was down, another buoy was put in, 56001, to the left, put down about 350 days later in October of 2009. She ran fine, 03 came back at a much lower sea depth but in the exact same location before jumping back up in 2011. Station 56001 began deviating in November of 2011, and one must assume it was about that time they hatched a plan to add the third buoy to the group, 53046. It was a few months later in mid-2012 when she began to send back information, and within a few months the action began. Short but significant drops in the sea depth, this channel began reporting rapid seafloor rise and the buoy was taken out of commission by the Australian BOM. Clearly it is back and in the exact same place, but when you factor in the further movement of the last 36 hours, more than 100 more meters, which is barely visible here at the end of the chart, we have officially eclipsed the 1200 meter mark, or just about 4000 feet. This could be volcanic, could be related to the fault destabilization described in many of our previous videos. It looks like this part of the world is a significant place to watch. Be safe everyone.